So what have you gained or developed from We One? Um, I will be more confident. Tolerate people more. <laughs> Become more confident. I think I've gained like lots of new friends and we've gained teamwork skills. Teamwork and skills and confidence. My communication skills. Before I went into NTS, I didn't have much confidence in doing the making friends. It's like I used to bubble myself in. <laughs> Leadership skills. But now I feel so much more open. I met new friends. I think I've kind of learned to push myself out of my comfort zone. And I can actually do things without being like self-conscious. Met new friends. Making new friends. Definitely become more confident. I like kayaking and we learn how to climb a wall. I challenged myself. It was quite hard and I pushed through it. And what was your favourite part of We One? Kayaking. I did um, rapids and that was quite fun. Definitely the kind of The mountain climb. <laughs> uh, well, for me, it's when Chloe fell over a wall and <laughs> printed. We all had to come together as a team, push on. Mine would be the rock climbing in Weasley. I found it very challenging, being with lads. Uh, for me, it's when Joe on Mentor <laughs> fell off the bus at rock climbing <laughs> and missed it. <laughs> Uh, Joe when he like died for football and things that were played outside. <laughs> I'd probably say the hiking because I like talked to everyone and I actually communicated and that was really fun. The mountain adventure. <laughs> and I like to when Mitchell started chasing the sheep because we were really tired from hiking. I liked weaseling and kayaking. Was week one challenging at all? Well, I'd say yeah. You have to push yourself that a lot. Oh, very. Definitely, yeah, but rewarding at the same time. Yeah, well, the first walk we went on, it was really tiring, it took ages, and that challenge was Yeah, like, we had to climb a massive mountain, and that was challenging. In some ways, yeah, in some ways, no. Um, I think it was challenging in the idea that, like, we had to make new friends out on the first couple of days, we didn't really know anybody that so got you years through, but yeah, because you had to get up really early every morning and like, do other stuff. Quite challenging for me because outside of NCS I didn't really do anything that we did on week one and two. And I've never done anything like that, ever. Never? Never, never, never ever? No, never ever. So, what was your favourite part of week two? Um, I think the sports leadership. Mine was the self defence, it was great. The self defence, because I got to beat Alex. We got to make us our own games and challenges. Uh, we had a campfire and we did take away. And it was very enjoyable. Uh, for me, I'd say it was the disco. Um, it was quite funny. There was like two different like groups that sort of went, so it was nice to interact. <laughs> I'm saying self-defense, yeah, self-defense. Yeah, do you think I think I agree well? with both of them as well, self-defense. Yeah, it was, self it was very insightful. Yeah. <laughs> and my favourite part was the water fight on the last night. It was really fun and it kind of was a good way to end <coughs> the residentials. I enjoyed the day right into rolling. <laughs> we had a massive water fight and I got sailed. I managed to get a kettle. <laughs> I enjoyed the campfire where we were sitting around together talking about everything and having marshmallows. <laughs> We tied Daryl up every night. <laughs> How was it different to week one? We bonded more. It was more brain than what it was brawn. I think it was more relaxed, but like you had a chance to gain more skill. I think on week one we kind of just like made friends and this week we got to like actually make friendships and like get to know them a bit more. Week one was more physically like Activities. We got closer to like group sort of thing and it made it easier in the next week. Week two you kind of had to work as a work as more of a team with your surrounding people because obviously you weren't just looking out for yourself as you were on the physical activities. It wasn't as like um, activity based, so it wasn't really outdoors, it was more social. How has it helped for weeks three and four? I feel more comfortable like shouting at people if they do something wrong. Well, we actually got to put those skills into practice. 
uh, you're like more comfortable with people that you are week two, week one, and week two. So you like talk to them and like tell them what you're gonna do and that. Like. Uh, well, for me, we've gained leadership skills and teamwork skills. So that's been good. We learn uh, the more skills that we needed for this week three and four. Like we've all come, we've become closer as a group. I think we've learned to get more comfortable around people, so you feel more comfortable like asking people to do things. The skills were transferable into the last two weeks. So we're more comfortable with each other. Weeks uh, three and four. Um, teamwork, like working together more. Have the workshops helped and will it impact life? Yeah, we did a finance one so now we learn how to manage our money, which we've had to do in this week three and four. Yeah. <laughs> I think they have because you like, you learn skills what you can use in real life situations, like self defence and stuff. I think the finance one helped especially because like before I didn't know what you got Pay for these different things. Self defense. It's gonna be like a life skill. Like the self defense one as well because, like, if you ever get you know, like attacked, you know what to do. So. The self defense one helped quite a lot. Yeah. If I get attacked, I know what to do. <laughs> um, I'd say yes again because it's really good advice from experts. The sports leaders one as well, we um, got to interact with different people because we swapped groups and stuff so it was nice to I guess gain different skills and talking to different people. I thought they helped so much like when it came to financing and it taught yeah, us how to budget especially with us money because we only had a certain limit of money whatever it is to do this project. What have you gained from the experience? Confidence. More self-confidence. Confidence. I've gained confidence with people. I think I've gained a lot of self-confidence. A gay best friend. Friends. I've gained lots of new friends. I've made more friends. More friends. I've gained like leadership skills. What have you enjoyed the most? I'd say mountain, the mountain adventure. Just being out and about. Yeah. Much like a dog. <laughs> the residentials. In it, doing something every day. Hiking, I thought that was absolutely amazing. Joe pulling over was fun every time he did it. I think just because you had less pressure on yourselves to like do things, you were more like on the road. Joe falling over. The rock climbing was definitely the most fun. Meeting new people. It's like easy to make friends because you were with them every day. The whole experience with Group A. Everything. If you had the chance, would you do NCS again? Oh yes, you. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun, but I wouldn't do it again. Why? Because I don't like being like away from home. For the experience. It summer up. Yeah, for the experience, I think it's a good way to spend your summer. It makes the summer go quicker. It's an experience for a lifetime. It just gives you. It's better than like sitting about doing nothing. It is so much fun, but it was an experience that I won't forget. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'd have done with like, my time. I didn't realise how much I didn't do with my time. So. <laughs> Forgettable measures. What are you going to take forward from this experience? I am not a clue. Friendship. All the skills, I think, like you can apply them all to later life, and especially it'll help you. With like a CV, like when you're applying to jobs or like universities or something. <laughs> Courage, yeah. And like new friends, what? Like, like Confidence. <laughs> um, I think I'll take away like all the new friends I've made. I've definitely made some friends for life. <laughs> Blue t shirt. <laughs> Aside the friends, yeah. why did you become a member of staff? It, it looked like a fun thing to do for Louise, give back to the community, help some local kids out. Because <laughs> uh, I've done it every summer, so it takes up the summer and I just like to answer yes. Was it challenging? Certainly, with this group. It was, but it's good to see if I view the as a to like. Participate and just all your ideas, like, with So many ideas. I think it was more challenging because you knew each other. Yeah. 
So I'm like, you're all loud and yeah. annoying. <laughs> all as a guru, whereas I think other groups, we're different people. What is loud? Best part of being a member of staff? Uh, seeing, seeing you all from day one like little chicks and you grow. <laughs> And you go row into like we see the progress. All the like sweets and stuff that the kids give me. And yeah, Mitchell's one that's always always there to give you some <laughs> <laughs> Like some of you were shy to start with, but then over the four weeks you've got louder and louder and louder. It's the best part about being a member staff is Watching everyone develop as people. Whenever I went to get a group, when you were, you had time last week, and everyone was doing at least one thing, there were no one sat down and I was like, okay. <laughs> it, make, it makes you feel proud seeing yeah. your group yeah. develop as a team. Do you do it again? Yeah. Yeah. I've done it every summer, so there's nothing about changing the summer.